Maintaining focus on projects. Uh, this is something I want to talk about because, A, I've got a bad habit of doing multiple things, but also it's something, if you focus on the right ideas, you'll find it works. Um, if you don't, you find you have a lot of things half finished. You know when people say they're good at multitasking? It generally means they have lots of little things that they haven't completed on time. Or Multitasking is generally a bad idea. Um, from a business profession it's a bad idea because you're not focused on one individual thing um, as such you lose focus you probably notice my video ratio has gone down in the last two weeks because I've been working on servers um, when I've come online it's because I've had a break from the servers it's as simple as that now focusing on the servers has had a positive effect the there's another site that went live yesterday morning um, and it's already made its first sale so from that point of view focusing on the sites has had already a positive effect uh, the last three days I've made a hundred dollars basically um, between the original site and the new one and I've got to replicate another one and then go through the whole SEO rigmarole of making them all slightly different but the the point is I focused on that idea. I've also got my paperwork for my self-employment. Um, the my lawyer sent it through. I've now got to basically sign it. I don't know why. You know, I pay somebody to do this um, because my Spanish isn't up to par. So what do they do? They send the forms through in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if I'm going to sit there and translate it, I don't actually need a lawyer. They're, they're supposed to do it for me. That was the idea. Um, but anyway, pushing that to one side. Focus. What you need to do is get a list. What I do is I sit down and I write what I need to achieve. Um, my other book's actually probably a better one. Better example. Let's find a page. That's all right, because I do this on a daily basis, funny enough. What you do is you list things down line by line, and then you go th put a line through it. I finished it. Tick, line through it. Um, and then you move on to the next one. And it doesn't matter if you don't complete them all, because what happens is you focus on whatever you need to do. Um, for example, say... So I needed to call the doctor um, today. Now, I've called him this morning, so he's not back till 2 o'clock. I simply don't put a line through it. I move to the next subject I need to complete today. And later on, you know, I'll put 2 o'clock at it. I will call the guy at 2 o'clock, and I won't scrub it off the list until it's complete. But the main thing is you focus on each individual item as you're going. What I found in Spain, and I've, I've this in Spain, I find the kids take up too much time. Um, not in a negative way, but it, what you lose is your focus because you're busy with the kids, so you sort of like get sidetracked onto other stuff, the school runs, uh, going to the doctors, and that sort of stuff. So you sort of lose that focus. So what I've had to do for the last two weeks is basically sleep in the afternoon so I can work through the night um, because I needed the quiet time because when you're dealing with servers um, a little error makes a big problem <laughs> so if you miss something you could be sat there for a week Here, here's a private example because I actually found something that some people hadn't found a solution for when I upgraded some software it wouldn't work, the site wouldn't work. And what it was is when it does this auto upgrade, it deletes your old template and puts a new one in. But the software still thinks that your default one is the old one. So it uses no template because inside the software, it's still looking for the template that the auto upgraded deleted it. Um, so what you basically have to do is reinstall the old template. It can't use it. But it then gives this little default, Do you, which one do you want for default? You swap it over, and that's it. But to solve that took several days because nobody had a solution for it. And all it was is the auto upgrade deletes the template that you need to change from being default. 
something so simple, um, but it's a bug in the software. Um, but if you do something, if you're doing it in command lines, for example, you know the the little um, black screen with a little flashing dot, a little error in there can be a real nightmare to find. Um, which is why I switch off and concentrate on what I'm doing. So this is why with the kids, we're going to school, coming back, I can't do it because I need to sit there and do like six hours solid and make sure it's right. Um, because when you're dealing with if it goes wrong, you have to scrap the lot and start again because if you can't find the error, it's a bug, it's a nightmare. Um, you've got to be very careful with it. So this is why focus is important. And you need to set a way of focusing. In the Philippines, I work during the night. Um, always have done because daytime, there's too many people coming around, too much noise, distractions, etc. So I work during the night. It's also cooler at night, but it's also quiet. You know, there's nobody awake. You know, when I'm working, it's just completely silent. So that's where I get that focus from. But I would also say don't focus on multiple projects. Um, do one at a time. But I know I've got three sites to do. First one is complete. The second one is, well, the first one still needs to be updated, but it's not important. It doesn't stop it selling. The second one is a newer version of the first one, but now it's um, up and running and starting to make money. The third one will be the same as the second one, but I'm ironing some bugs out on the second one. But once those are done, I'm going on to teaching English as a second language. Um, well, teaching English, <laughs> it's not my second language. To people, that it's a second language. Um, because here in Spain, I need to generate some income from that avenue. Um, on top of that, the dog food stuff is going to develop at the end of the month. So I need to batten down the hatches, get the TESOL stuff up and running. So finish the sites, do the TESOL, get the TESOL up and running, see how I can actually make some money off that, and then we're on to the dog food stuff. And between the three of them, that's where my, uh, what do you call it, the sustainable living comes from for Spain. Um, because I've got some big projects for the van that I want to do, and I can't do them until I'm increasing my income. Um, what I'm looking at doing with the van is actually having it completely uh, rubbed down, resprayed, uh, engine cleaned up, tidied up, full service, and doing some refits on the interior. Um, so I know I was only like half doing it, but then I've sort of looked at the value of the van when it's finished, and I can make money on it even after we've used it for a few years. So common sense says get it fixed, get it up to get up to a specification I'm happy with, um, get a solar panel, get get it so it's computer savvy, etc. So I got access to the internet and everything and even when I'm doing the school run I could actually stop up, up by the school and work from the, the van if I wanted to um, there's lots of stuff ongoing but like I said you've got to focus on what's important the van is not important the first one the websites the second one is the Tesla third one is the uh, dog food venture um, and then on top of those, I've also got and then some Alicante sites that I'm working on. Which sort of ties in with what um, Jeff Lee is doing with his marketing and selling uh, advertising space. Because regional websites are worth making money on here. In, in, here in Spain, everything's about food, tourists, and access to information. So having a good information site could be a good cash generator. Um, it just takes a bit of work, and once I get some input on there, I've got. I'm trying Drupal. Um, Drupal's a new CRM. See, I keep saying terms and stuff to people. Um, it's unfair. It, it's a new bit of software for me. It's not CRM anyway. CRM is Content Relationship Manager. Um, how is it? Yeah, it is. It is a CRM, Content Relationship Manager. Because whatever... 
I hate acronyms and abbreviations. <laughs> People use them all the time. Um, I'm blabbing on a bit. But I'm going to work with Drupal on that instead of WordPress. WordPress is what I traditionally use, but Drupal, I think, has some expansive things for it. And the big problem I have with that so far is people talk geek too much. Um, we, what you have is the assumption people know what you're talking about. So when you start talking uh, specifics on the software, if you're just opening it out of the box, you haven't got familiar with it yet. So there's no point talking geek to me on it because I have only just took it out the box. I need to understand what things are do doing because the terminology is different. Um, but like I said, what am I doing today? We've got just gone out for lunch. Uh, well, gone out for brunch, and I'm now going to work on the website a bit. I've just added a live chat system to it, you know, for for sales, so people can actually talk to me on my phone, even if I'm out and about, to go, hey Matt, uh, I'm having problems with this or whatever, they can contact me direct. Good customer relations is important to any business. Does anybody want to know how to do that? Because I could teach you how to do that for your own website and it costs nothing. Anyway, focus. Make sure you focus on what you're doing. Because as I said, Philippines distracts you like no tomorrow because there's lots going on. People want to talk to you. People want to visit. Um, Spain, it's paperwork. It's uh, running around after the kids. But now it's starting to pay off by saying, right, I need to focus. How do I make that happen? For me, it was sleeping in the afternoon getting up late at night and working through the night, getting it done, and now we're starting to bear fruit. We've had our first sales. All right, thanks for watching.